Okay, so these are spinach raviolis. They're really, really good. I got them at Walmart. This is my first meal of the day. They have no preservatives, ready in four minutes. I um, put them on the stove. I boiled the water and I put 12 of these here. So I'm gonna show you them. Raviolis and BM. Little bowl with the water boiling. And I had them on for like a couple minutes. I think it, I had them on for like five minutes. I uh, had them longer than four minutes, but they say on here it's ready in, four, ready in four minutes, but I had it on for five. And um, there's about 12 servings, but there's also cheese inside the ravioli and it makes a really, really good dinner. And I had it today and it's actually really, really healthy because of the spinach. The only thing that's not healthy is the pasta because as you all know, pasta turns to straight sugar. And then I topped it off with this sauce, Prego, and it's roasted garlic parmesan because as you guys know, I'm like a total pasta fan. So, yeah. And the nutrition facts are about seven servings per container, serving size one fourth cup, 60 millimeters, calories per serving. You got 70. Okay. So, account amount serving, nine, okay, per, blah, percent daily value. Total fat, 6 grams, 8%. Saturated fat, 3 grams, 15%. Trans fat, 0 grams. Cholesterol, 30 milligrams. That's just a shitload of cholesterol. 10%. Uh, sodium, 350 milligrams, 15%. Okay. And then amount serving, percent value. Total... Blah. Total carbohydrate, 3 grams, 1%. Dietary fat, fiber. Total sugars, 1 gram. Includes zero added sugars. Protein, 2 gram. And then the 5% daily value on... Okay, so anyways, yeah, 2,000 calories a day, used in general nutrition advice. Join me next time for another okay, as you can tell, I'm having trouble here. It's got the ingredients, water cream, Parmesan cheese, part skim milk, cultural salt. Uh, enzymes, enzyme modified egg yolks, egg yolks, salt, phosphorate, mm, modified food starch, canola and or soybean oil, butter, come on, contain less than enzymes, roasted garlic, Salt, sugar, enzyme, modified cheese paste. Um, Parmesan cheese, milk cultures, salt, um, enzymes, water, sodium, phosphate again, lac contains eggs and milk. Natural flavoring, yeast extract, dried onions. Okay. Okay, there's that. So anyways, as I was saying, I then took this, put this on the strainer, and then I poured this on the pasta. And I had it with a very, very small baked potato with lightly seasoned with seasoning salt, you know, onion, 
butter, um, black pepper, and garlic, and some diced up onions. And it was a really, really good tasting meal. My first meal of the day today. And I had it with my soda from Plaid Pantry. And that's what I've had today. But I highly recommend this meal. It's really, really good. Tastes delicious. Very, very tasty. And here's the, um, what do you call it? The nutritional crap on the back. It's Kirkland. Signature Kirkland. So here's spinach and cheese ravioli. Organic. So it's organic right there. And here are the nutrition facts. About 12 servings per two-pack container. Serving size, one cup, 103 grams. Amount per calories, 260. Percent daily value, total fat, 11 grams, 14%. Saturated fat, 4 grams, 20%. Trans fat, 0 grams. Cholesterol, 55 milligrams, 18%. Sodium, 510 milligrams, 22%. Total carbohydrates, 31 grams, 11%. Dietary fiber, 4 grams, 14%. Total sugars, 5 grams. Included, includes UG added sugars, 0%. Protein, 11 gram. Vitamin D, O, M, C, G, 0%. Calcium, 177 mg, 15%. Iron, 1 mg, 6%. Potassium, 304 milligrams, 6%. And then there's that. The daily value tells you how much a nutrient is a serving a food contributes to a daily diet. 2,000 calories a day is used for general nutrition advice. And then it has the directions on here. It tells you how to cook it. So the first one right there, it says boil six quarts of water, reduce heat to a gentle boil. Two, add pasta, do not separate uncooked pasta. If it sticks together, it will naturally separate while cooking. Cook for four minutes and drain. Add one minute for a softer bite. Careful. Do not overcook. And four. Put in for four minutes. Strainer. There's the little strainer because they have little pictures. And then this. Toss in extra virgin olive oil or melted butter and top with your favorite sauce. And then it says keep refrigerated, use or freeze by date on back of package. Use with three days of opening, maybe frozen one month. This unit not labeled for individual resale. And then it has that and then the brand is Kirkland uh, it tasted really really good anyhow I will see you all in my next video bye guys